All right, well, here we go. Uh, this is it. As you guys can see right over here, um, this is going to be we where we are in Paper Mario. Uh, we got our last little star piece over there, and then now uh, the detective guy says um, that we're ready to go. Uh, we have a long road ahead, and don't give up. Right over here, easy peasy. Let's go back to Rogueport. Really nothing crazy happened at the very end of that chapter, honestly, so uh, let's go do this and start our game. Should be a fun one. Anyway, yeah, nothing too much happened there. Just a little bit of exposition. He's going to go replace it with a fake one. And then now we're here with um, with these guys. So anyway, welcome back to Paper Mario, the Thousand Year Door. Hopefully you're enjoying the series as much as I am. Uh, what's the matter with you guys? Uh, falling for a fake crystal star? That's asinine. Sorry, dude. I mean, sir. Uh, so let me guess. This means Mario managed to get the real crystal star? Uh, I'm gonna say maybe? Ugh. Uh, this mustache menace has nearly every crystal star now. They were mine. I think I'd better alter my plan a bit. Before you do, Sir Grotus, I think I'd better tell you something. What is it, fool? Mumble, mumble. What? Are you sure? Speak. No joke, dude. I mean, affirmative, sir, dude. That is, I'm positive, sir. Ugh, treason. What do you think he told him? And look at that cardboard pillow. That's not even a pillow. Look at this thing. <laughs> Strange. Uh, isn't it about time for Tech to call me in? Maybe he's busy. No. Oh. Here we go. Look at this pillow right now. It's softer than I expected. At least I'll be sleeping comfortably. Dude, that pillow is literally a piece of paper. <laughs> That's the worst. All right, Tech, uh, where are we going? Am I going down? Am I going over? We're exploring. Oh, there we go. Hello, Tech. Uh, what do you want today? Princess Peach, I have I have reached a conclusion. A conclusion? I have struggled with whether to obey orders or to speak to you. And I have also struggled with what I should believe. Tech, you don't sound right. What's going on with you? Princess Peach, please escape from this place as quickly as possible. Uh, escape? Tech, what do you mean by that? I mean, why all of a sudden? The data you procured has been analyzed and something terrible is... No, I will not say. But I have found out everything about Sir Grotus's plans. Grotus's plans? You mean about conquering the world? Yes, and among those plans was the reason why you're being held here. According to the data... No, no way. That's impossible. I don't believe it. Yes, everything is true. That is that is why you must escape from here as fast as possible. But how can I do that, Tech? I mean, I don't even have the slightest idea of where I am. I will not hide anything anymore. No, not from you. I will tell you everything. The place where you're currently imprisoned. This is the moon. The moon? You mean the moon that hangs up in the sky at night? That moon? Uh, that is correct. But that's unbelievable. How in the world am I supposed to escape? There is a way. You can escape, but you must follow my instructions exactly. But Tech, won't they know that you helped me? Won't you get in trouble? That's inconsequential. I would like you to be safe. That is all that matters. Tech. Uh, I am the base's computer. No one will know of your escape if I keep silent. Please do not worry about me. Escape. Escape as quickly as possible. Okay, Tech. Uh, but I must inform Mario about all this before I go. This is no longer just my problem. Understood. Type that email real quick. That I'm somehow on the moon. Hold it right there, Princess Peach. Eek, you... 
Tech, you miserable machine. We all know what you're up to, traitor. Sir Grotus, I... In my most paranoid moments, I never thought my own computer would betray me. Well, it doesn't really matter in the end, I suppose, especially since it ends here. You monster, what are you planning to do with him? Gah, only one thing to do with a malfunctioning computer. Cut the circuit and delete all the programs and data that caused the malfunction. Obviously, all data relating to Princess Peach must go as well. Yes, we must be absolutely sure nothing like this ever happens again. No, I am... I am normal. There is no malfunction. Pipe down, tech. x knots. At the same time, press the red buttons on tech sides. Got it, sir. Tech, no! Mail sent. Princess Peach, I... I... I oh, oh, I love... Y you... Wow, okay. A robot feeling love. How do you think of that? What does that even mean for that robot to understand this concept? Deletion complete. And why are the two delete buttons just like out in the open? Like what? That's tech. No, tech. God, too bad, Princess Peach. Tech is no longer with us. No, you inhuman beast. How could you? Princess Peach, just stop it. This is no time to be worrying about a computer. We have a very important role for you to play now. Yes, very important. No. Gag. Uh-oh. Yeah, I don't know about that. Tech is gone. Ah, Bowser, save me. <laughs> I've got no crystal stars. I can't find Princess Peach. Twilight Town, well, uh, it wasn't exactly glorious. What's going on here? If this keeps up, Mario's gonna steal everything from my grasp, as usual. Your massiveness. We did it. The Magikoopa scouts found a suspicious underground chamber. Uh, it isn't even on any maps. Yeah, really suspicious. Something must be there. Huh, about time. Well done. This is where all the uh, where it all turns around for me, definitely. The Hammer Bros battalion is attempting to breach the chamber at the moment. The area is impenetrable. Uh, they're scrapping tooth and nail in there. No problem. Direct me there. I'll blast this through. I'm Bowser, baby. <laughs> okay. See that treasure box right over there? That treasure box on the top? We'll be able to grab that now. And I can't wait. That's our number one destination. Oh, Luigi, what have you been up to in the Eclair, Princess Eclair Kingdom? Oh, I'm playing as Bowser now. This is great. Ready to roll. Here we go. Cool. Jump. Fire breath. Rawr. Oh, I can just break that fire bar. It's so cool. And you get ground pound? Look at these guys. Yo, there's some meat right there. Oh, I love playing as Bowser. Oh, wow. You're telling me? Watch this. How do I... That's the ground pound? Wait, how am I getting there? Oh, maybe I come this way. Yo, what is this guy? Oh! No, how am I getting these? Literally, how am I getting these coins? His ground pound doesn't work. <laughs> hey, I w what? I wanted to go inside that pipe. What? <laughs> this guy! Hey! Oh, get smushed. I just want to play Bowser all day. Wee! So maybe if I got two of the meats and grew like like level two size, like versus maybe level three size, and then backtrack, that could have broken those bricks. I don't know. It's kind of silly. 
Incredible, Lord Bowser. Nothing stood in your way. You couldn't be more super. Please, no problem. Uh, I felt right at home. But where are we now? Gracious me, look, Lord Bowser on the wall behind you. Oh, wow. Hello, could it be? Oh yeah, Crystal Star. Advantage Bowser. Yo, that's the championship belt. At last we found one, and now we'll make it ours. Freeze, chumps. Yo, is that the Rock Hawk? Go, who goes there? <laughs> don't tell me you don't know the famous Rock Hawk. <laughs> you little punk weasel, you forgot these muscles? You forgot this hugeness? He's talking to me! No, 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 he's talking to you guys. He's pointing at the screen for you. Don't ask me how, but you cleared my secret training facility. Not too shabby. I even imported some super freaks to up the difficulty level. You're good. Of course, uh, uh, good don't count for squat in this biz, babe. My champ's, uh, that, my champ's belt is mine. God, oh, look, what an adorable little weakling. Hi, fella. Weak? Wait, what? Well, tell me something. You ever see a weakling do this? Oh, get crushed. Pain. Yo, Cammy just got like double kicked. Aw, oh, now you're sleeping. I knew you were a weakling. Whoa, the crystal star. Hmm? Eek, it, it split in two. Oh, no, no, no. Wait, hold the phone. My mighty Lord Bowser, this is just glass. It's a flim flam, a fake. A flim flam? <laughs> what is that word? Oh, what are you saying? Use words I know. You, ow, want the real one? The great, uh, Gonzalez has it. Oh, my aching hair. Feel the rock. I don't know anybody named Gonzalez. Stop speaking in riddles, you chicken nugget. <laughs> Crud, uh, who do I have to flatten to get a crystal star? Who? Who? Who do I have to flatten to get a crystal star? He called him a chicken nugget. <laughs> oh gosh, yes. Yes. Oh, okay. So, uh, we saw that big chest. We gotta go get that. Oh, we're here. Hi. Great, great, great. Uh, Mario, that sounds like an email from Princess Peach. How can you tell? Uh-huh. Mario, I now know where I'm being held. I'm on the moon. Yes, the moon that floats out in space. And I've learned something even more horrifying. In order to resurrect the monster's spirit, they need my... The moon? Like, the one in space, Princess Peach is on the moon? I mean, that actually sounds pretty cool. But why is her email cut off? Oh my gosh, you don't think something happened to her, do you? You know, I do think something happened to her. All right, thank you about Roadport Station. I need to switch my characters. Thank you so much. Yo, Luigi! Oh my gosh, I always look forward to talking to Luigi. Well, guess what I found in the Rapturous Ruins, bro? Yup, a marvelous compass piece. Uh, this is part of my adventure. Uh, that w this part of my adventure was actually sort of sad, if you want to know the truth. It was pretty bizarre, bro. Want to hear what happened? It's a long story. You guys want to hear what Luigi has been doing for the past, I don't know, couple episodes? We can take a look. All right, the Rapturous Ruins. Tell me more, Luigi. Well, like I said, it's a really long story, but here goes. After journeying deep into the Grimble Forest, I found the domed rap Rapturous Ruins. Inside, everything was pure white. You couldn't tell where the floor became walls. Proceeding dead ahead, I found myself in a chamber where a young boy sat. As I approached the boy, someone named Screamy appeared out of nowhere. Screamy said the boy's name was Cranberry and that he'd wake for a child of fate. That didn't make any sense to me, so I started searching quietly for the compass piece. But then it happened. Bro, I got a tiny tickle in my nose and I let out a huge sneeze. Well, Cranberry must have heard it, because he opened his eyes right up. He looked at me and smiled, and all of a sudden, I could understand his language. 
Can you believe it? I learned that the boy was the last of an ancient race, the Luffs. Uh, he had been there guarding the marvelous compass piece for the past thousand years. He told me that the compass is an item with the power to see into the future. The ancient Luff Empire used the power of the compass to rule much of the world. Because of their greed, they were cursed by the compass and their empire collapsed. To prevent a repeat of their fate, Cranberry broke the compass into seven parts. He hid six and kept one, putting himself to sleep until a worthy hero woke him. I was that hero, bro. He gave it to me, and then he had, uh, and then he and the ruins vanished. Uh, when I added that piece to the compass, it pointed far north where the dreaded Hate Song Tower stands. This time I heard Princess Eclair's voice more clearly than ever before. I will rescue the princess, I will be super, and then I'll, 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 well, I'll figure out the rest later. Anyway, I headed back here to Rogueport after that. I'm making my final preparations for my final battle now. I'm a little nervous, bro, but that's what I've been up to anyway. Uh, Want to hear about something else? No, Luigi, I don't. Tell me more. I'm, I'm going to find out who this little guy is. Yo, is this Screamy? Oh, I'm Screamy. I wonder what the future is... Uh, I wonder what future is plotted for us by he who holds the compass. For I must deliver something. Wait, what does that mean? For I must deliver something? Dude, what? I have no idea. Anyway, we got a lot of exploring to do inside the sewers once we go pick up that big old treasure chest. So let's go explore uh, around over here, get that chest, and then call it a day. We Oh, dude, new badges? Let's take a look, let's take a look. Hey, 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 I got all the hottest products. I have a lot of money. Jump man, increase your jump attack power by one, but you lose your hammer ability? Yes, please. That's great. That's a very good steal. I could put that on right now and become jump man. Mario, jump man, Mario. Change the sound effects of Mario's attacks to sound peachy. Yeah, you know what? I got money. Uh, actually, uh, I'll be all right. <laughs> I'm like, do I need that badge? No, I don't. So let's, let's actually get out of here and see what we got to do. Woo -hoo -hoo -ah. You know, I wanted to go do some uh, Pianta parlor stuff. Maybe we go get those things. Uh, first attack, this one's Shrink Stomp, Ice Smash, Soft Stomp, Close Call Partner, and then here's the Bargain Bins. Power Jump, mm, Power Rush P, Last Stand P, Happy Flower is cool. Uh, that's kind of cool. I like that one. I think I already have. Oh, I have none. Happy Flower. Has a chance of slowly restoring FP. Super Appeal, Super Appeal, Simplifier. I have one Simplifier. I don't know if you can stack it. Uh, Unsimplifier and then Attack FX R. I don't really need any of these things right now. So let's just go into the sewers and um, and see what we can find, right? Let's see what we can find. I did want to do a couple of the um, a couple of the quests regarding finding the, the like the gold card, the silver card, etc. So, but this is what we've been waiting for. The Ultra Hammer. Excellent. It's just out in the open, man. Hey, Toadette. Hey, it's me again, Toadette. Uh, nice to see you again. Uh, find, no, way to find the Ultra Hammer. Now your hammer will have even more attack power. And you can also use a new hammer technique. Let's practice it right away. Uh, it's just like with the Super Hammer, so no prob. Hold B and rotate until your body gets twisty, and then release the B to hit the Ultra Hammer. Remember to twist a lot before releasing B, okay? All right, hammer, rotate, and let it go. Cool, easy. Way to go, you got it. Are you clear on the controls? Yeah, dude, I am all good. All right, you mastered the Ultra Hammer. Whoa. Using your Ultra Hammer, you can break blocks made of stuff like this. Swing it like normal to break smaller stuff, uh, but use the method I taught you to break the bigger things, okay? And we've seen those blocks before in the sewer, so that's where I really just want to go right now. I just want to go check out the sewer. And you can use the Ultra Hammer in battle too. Um, this is kind of sad. This is the last time I'll get to see you, Mario. Definitely save Princess Peach, okay? And be careful on your quest, okay? Oh, sorry, Toadette. I'll see you in Mario Party. Or Captain Toad Treasure Tracker? I don't know. All right, that was kind of fun. Uh, let's see what we got. I think we have a lot of our uh, power-ups that we can go power up some of our buddies. 
So let's go see what we what we're cooking over here. Uh, we do have shine sprites. We have five, so I can go and do one of them. Vivian's been doing some work. Uh, Vivian does the confusion attack. Bobbery is able to blow up everyone. Smooch Mario to boost his HP. I don't think we're gonna need that. Who do you think, guys? Coops, Vivian, Bobbery, or Ms. Maus? Coops is kind of cool. Shell Slam to attack all the ground enemies, and he becomes a little bit stronger. I've been liking Vivian as well, so um, I mean that's kind of where I'm at. Let's let's go Vivian. I like that. I like that idea. Hey, but don't worry, we're gonna get everyone boosted up as well. Um, because once we go inside the sewer, I remember there was one spot where we became Paper Boat Mario, and we, I don't know, we went all the way to one area that had two Shine Sprites in it. So if we find that spot again, we can go grab that and then boost up Bobbery. He'd probably be my second one. Um, and Ms. Mao is like, I don't really use her, so that's not really something that I have to. All right, here we go. That was really fun. All right, so hey, thank you so much for that, but uh, I need my little guy here. All right, so we have to go into the sewers over here. So let's go explore a little bit in the sewers. We'll have to go to the thousand year door just to open up the path to the next area. But hopefully along the way there, we could find some really, really cool things um, that we have not seen in quite some time yet. So that's kind of where I want to go, right? Like I haven't even gotten that treasure chest. Like, I don't even know how. Whoa, cool. That was awesome. Oh, there's a bomb spot over there. Mm, but how do I get up there? Is there a pipe somewhere that I have to climb? Oh, what do you know? Did I not do this before? Interesting. I don't know. I could have sworn I'd done this. I don't know. Let's go take a look. Defend plus partner badge. Do I need my partner's defense to go up by one? No, I don't. All right, carry on. Let's go take a look. Yeah, we haven't really done this boat thing in a while. So yeah, I'm just here for the next like eight or so minutes. Let's just go exploring inside the, uh, the sewer this way and see what we can find. Oh, there wasn't anything over here, right? How do I get over there? Oh, I take the pipe. Hmm. I guess I'm taking the pipe all the way across? I don't know. It's been a while. Let's let's give it a shot. Yeah, it's been a while since we were actually in Rogueport. And now that we have this, like, super jump, we have a lot more areas to explore. And I don't know who lives in the background over here. Like, I don't remember. But this is actually kind of cool. All right, here we go. Come on, Mario. Who's in here? Oh, cool. Okay. Just for a star piece? I mean, I guess. Whose house is this? It's like a fishing house. I don't know, man. Is there anything else in here? Looks like a file. Yeah, I don't know. If you know anything about this room, please let me know outside of that uh, <laughs> that one piece that just was hanging out over there. All right, let's keep going. All right, we got a little bit more to go. I have to find out where exactly the... Um, that shine sprite was, right? Like, I don't remember, honestly. But we're gonna find out. We're gonna go into every nook and cranny over here and see what we can find. Okay, watch out for this guy. Okay. I don't have time for this. Like, get me out. <laughs> A Goomba. What are you guys doing, man? Don't have time. Would it have been faster to destroy them? Probably. All right, we're moving, we're moving to it. Oh, do I need a new curse? Oh, I think the curse ran out, right? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's it's good that we came here, right? Although we haven't gotten lucky with um with the curse doubling our experience on a boss. We have not done that. So anyway, yeah, this was long overdue. Very, very long overdue. Okay, here we go. My mystic power can make you smile. That's right. Okay, good. You never know when that's gonna save us. Honestly, it's worth it's worth 50 coins. Why not? Re-up our curse. Uh, and then we have, I believe, two shine sprites in the sewer that we want to go find right now. So uh, let's go do that and go from there. <laughs> what a cutie. All right, here we go. So we've explored that area. I believe there's going to be something over here with that boat. This is where we were going last time. Okay, so we... Ooh, I don't want to go there. I want to come here. And this is going to be our warp room. Oh, and look at that! Wait, wait, wait. How come I don't have the big... How, how come the warp didn't happen? Oh, cool. FP plus badge? I mean, I guess that's cool. I don't really use those. How come I don't have like a number six warp? <laughs> like what? Dude, I don't know, I, I have no idea. Usually it just pops up. All right, so we're gonna come right over this way. We're gonna become a boat. We're gonna boat all the way back around and we're gonna get that shine sprite. And then uh, we're gonna go to the thousand year door. We'll make our way over there. Yeah, weird. Yeah, so maybe we go to the thousand year door and then it opens up a warp? I don't know, the order of operation. But the sewers is a good place to grind for experience in case you're like running a little low or you're feeling a little weak. All right, so that right there, that's where I have to go. I don't know if I have a spike stomp badge on. I'm gonna have to take a look because I do not want to, um, I hope I do. Multi-bound, I think, power plus, D down, defend plus, close call, pretty lucky. Yeah, I do have spike shield on. Okay, this is great. Dude, he actually struck first? Yeah, right, watch this! Where's Quake Hammer? Seven? Not enough. Oh, gosh. Uh, I guess I'm gonna gulp. Oh, my gosh. I did not gulp properly. Ow, ouch. Ow, Woo! I do not have any HP. Dude, I need an apology, like, right now. And Baby Boy cannot... I mean, Baby Boy can do it. I mean, I can eat that right now. <laughs> Where's my, give me, you're just gonna eat that. Thank you. There we go, that's all I needed in life. Thank you so much. Let me get out of here, please, and thank you, bye. Shine Sprite, see ya! All right, man, yo, I'm just, I'm hitting that and I'm quitting that, I'm out of here. <laughs> Oh, wow. Okay, okay. Let's go to the thousand year door. I'm done. I'm done. Let's go to the thousand year door. I, man, I have a hard time finding that thing. You know what? No, I know exactly where it is. Uh, so I got to go back a couple areas. I could probably go down that green pipe right there and it'll take me exactly to it. Watch. Oof. What an exposition chapter, huh? Yeah, this will take me down to like the like the little underground housing area. Or the Pit of 100 Trials, which is fine. Right? That's where we want to be, because that's uh, exactly right outside. There we go. Cool. Alright, Thousand Year Door. Here we go. Okay, number six. Yep. 
Yeah, but isn't Bowser like hiding and in, in waiting for this? I don't know, but we made it. And this one's all the way in like the ice area, right? Like in the mountains? Yup. Oh, on the actual moon. A little pop-up book. What do you know? That was not on the map before, but it is now. So that's kind of fun. So we have to go to some sort of icy area and get to the moon somehow. Okay, it's been recorded on our map. Look out, Bowser might be here, man. Whoa, no way. What's wrong with that map? The last crystal star is... Uh, that ain't right. Okay, we're gonna go talk to uh, Professor Frankly and he's gonna tell us what's what. Hmm. Trash can is empty. That means we did a 100% job of getting all of our scans, our tattles. If what this map indicates is true, the location of the final crystal star is the moon. The moon. Uh, that's where Princess Peach is stuck. Yeah, remember? Seems suspicious, huh? Huh. The problem here is how does one get to the moon? Quite a conundrum. Give me a moment to look into this. Excuse me, please. This shouldn't take long. Uh, looking into this may take a little time, so come back in a bit, all right? Okay, well, this is a great pause point. Um, we're gonna have to come back in a little bit and talk to Professor Frankly. He's got to decipher how exactly we're going to get to the moon. Uh, I mean, one does not simply fold themselves up into a paper rocket and fly vertically upwards. So we're gonna find that out. Um, we have a lot of exploring to do inside the town. I wanna go figure out the Pianta parlor. We're gonna get the, like, the silver card, the gold card, the platinum card. We're gonna do all that stuff so we could spend our money in the coin shop and get some really, really much needed badges. So um, yeah, and then we're gonna continue on with the story. Anyway, as usual, thanks for watching. That was awesome, man. Seriously.